God said it's time for us to stop playing because he's about to deliver us. God said it's time for us to stop playing because he's about to deliver us. Now, what y'all think y'all got to do in order to receive the salvation? Give me a second answer, uh, nine and seven. Says, what you think you got to do to receive the salvation? Receive salvation. You understand what salvation is for or what it is, what it goes into? So watch this, right? When you examine this, right? What you see, come, come right here, come right here. What you see right here? What y'all see right here? Come, come close. Watch this. I'm going to break it down from the beginning and then we try to uh, build up. What y'all see right here? And give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse uh, 16. Hold that though. What do y'all see right here? Okay, so I see false prophets. Where the false prophets at? All over here. Point out, let me see. Uh, eBay, Kotek. Oh, okay, okay, so the idols, 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 all right. Focus more on this. So, because we had, that's idolatry. That's good, that's idolatry. That's what, that's what we was doing, and that resulted in this. What is this? So, the prophets uh, remi uh, reminded us, or uh, mentioned to us, if we broke God's laws, we would be punished, right? Let's get that real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Listen good. The Bible's your history book, bro. This is what you need to be studying on. Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read it out! But it shall come to pass. Meaning it's going to happen. This is the prophets warning us, right? All right. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And it was talking to the Israelites. He says, listen, if y'all don't listen, bro, God got laws that he ain't playing about. If we don't listen, right? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. God said, if we don't keep the commandments, all these curses is going to come upon us and overtake us. This is the beginning of how slavery started. God said, if we did not listen, all these curses was going to come upon us and overtake us. Don't worry about that. The Spirit of the Lord is moving. Don't worry about that. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Watch how we got cursed as a people. Since I know you're having a hard time, it's all good. Look, watch this. Watch this. It's all good. I got girls too. They are tripping a half. But watch this. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let's read the curses. Don't worry about bro. He just on one. Watch this. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Y'all know what Egypt represented? Y'all know what that term represented? I use the example, especially since you're into politics, right? In the 1600s, right? Huh? Okay, that's good. Okay, okay. You, you, okay, all right. You know something about politics. Watch this, right? In the 1600s, right? In the 1600s. Listen good, listen good, listen good. Watch. They, they say that... Um, America is a place where dreams come true, right? Did that mean the same? Did, did America mean the same thing for the white man as it meant for us? So where, for them, it was where dreams come true. They can be savages, bums, so on and so forth, come here, get some slaves, and establish an enterprise, right? This place was where dreams came true for them, right? But if you ask the slave what America, America represented it, what did it represent? You said what? Where dreams die, it had a totally different definition for us, right? Same thing with Egypt. Y'all know what Egypt represented for the Israelites? You said where dreams come true? I'm glad you said that. Watch this. Give me Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So God is referring to Egypt, right? He says the land of Egypt. Watch this. Pay attention, bro. Read. Out of the house of bondage. What did Egypt represent to us? The out of the house of bondage. Egypt was bondage for us. We wasn't the pharaohs. We was the slaves. We was helped build the pyramids. We was the ones getting our backs beat. We built the treasure city, so on and so forth. Egypt represented what? The house of bondage. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Come on up, sus. Come on up, sus. Come, come on up real quick. Watch this. Read this real quick. Watch this. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. 
And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. So what? Into Egypt. So what? Egypt. What Egypt represent? The house of bondage. The house of bondage. Another. What's a modern? Says. What's a modern day word for bondage? Bondage. If I take you and I take your whole family and I put y'all in bondage, what did I do to you? I, I enslaved you. That's what bondage means, right? So I'll read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Bondage again, slavery again. Read. With ships. With what? With yeah. ships. With what? With ships. What are we reading? We reading our history in the Bible. God said for our disobedience, he was going to bring us into slavery again with ships. Did you know that, sis? We reading your history. That happened, right? That happened. That happened. And who did it happen to? Did it happen to all people? No. Who did it happen to? Black. It happened to you. It happened to you. Come here, sis. Where you going? Where you going? Don't worry about that. That's going to be there. Watch it. I want to show y'all something because they don't teach us this in the churches. That's why we get put to death. You from Oakland? West Oakland. It's bad out there, right? They just had a shootout a couple of months ago. You remember that? It's bad out there. That's why y'all need to learn this so y'all can avoid that. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. With ships. Uh -huh. By the way, wherever I spake unto uh -huh. thee, thou shalt see it no more again. What that mean? What that part mean? Thou shalt see it no more again. What that part mean? What that part mean? You, got, you want to take a crack at it, sis? Read that part again. Thou shalt see it no more again. So the first part said he going to bring us into slavery on cargo slave ships. The second part says thou shalt see it no more again. What's the it we didn't see no more? You said what? Nah. What you say? We ain't seen our home no more. We think of, you, you think West Oakland is your stopping ground. No, sis. Where's our homeland at? Africa. What part? Ethiopia. Nope. Uh, West Africa. You said Egypt? Nope. What you say? West Africa, right? West Africa? Nope. What you say? Where, where's our homeland at? Israel? Where's the home? What'd you say? Israel? What gave you that one? Because we're Israelites. There you go. Get, get that real quick. Uh, Galatians 4 and 16. Do y'all know that Israel, the place that they fighting for, that's our homeland? The book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Yep. Yep. But Jerusalem. But what? Jerusalem. Talking about Israel because Jerusalem is located in Israel. Read. Which is above is free. Uh -huh. Which is the mother of us all. So that's your homeland, sis. That's your homeland, big bro. That's our homeland. Jerusalem. So go back to Deuteronomy. Thou shalt see it no more. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. We ain't never been back home. So if we ain't never been back home, that means that we're prisoners of what? This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Because when you free somebody, you let them go. Right, sis? You free somebody, you let them go. If you, if you took a child and you said this child mine, but then you change your mind and you free him, are you going to still let him stay in your house? You're going to let them go, right? So that means that we're still what? we still slaves. Now it's making sense. We ain't never went back home. And the reason why we're still slaves is because God already talked about it. Read. And there huh? ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So God said when we got off those ships, right? Watch this. Y'all look at this, right? 
God said we would be sold to our enemies. We would be sold to our enemies. What were some of the uh, catastrophic things that they did to us in slavery? You said beat us. They castrated us. Castrated us, made us uh, eunuchs. Cut our fingers. What you think they did to us in slavery, sis? They killed us. They raped us. Watch this, watch this. And not, not even after slavery. Watch this, watch this. Even after slavery, right? And I'm not going to say after slavery. Even after uh, hard bondage. Y'all know where the Oakland Zoo at? Watch this, big bro. Watch this, watch this. You know where the Oakland Zoo at? What they got up in the zoo? Animals. They got animals, right? Before they had animals in the zoo, who you think they had up in there? They had us. Look at this. This us. Why do you think our sisters dress how they dress? Because at one point, they really had us in the zoo and people would buy tickets to go see the children of God be stripped, raped, and destroyed. This happened to us. They had a zoo in New York where they would advertise the children of Israel in a destroyed state. So watch this. Read that again. And, uh, and there. And there. Ye shall be sold unto your enemy. When they sold us, they had the right to do whatever they wanted to do to us. That's what was going on. This is our history in the Bible. Read. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women. And slave women. The women was enslaved too. Read. And no man shall buy you. And nobody was able to redeem us from our situation. Now, you said what? I think so, the, the brother that they shaved off his teeth. All that, all, watch this, give me verse 37. Watch this. Because God said we the greatest people on the earth, right? When we give an opportunity, we can do miracles, straight up. But guess what happened, right? Because of our sins, because of our iniquities, God said this, verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. What's an astonishment? What's an astonishment? Like and an embarrassment. You ever heard of uh, the saying, uh, throat goat? You ever heard of that? You heard about that, right? Y'all heard about that too, right? We glorify those things, right? But how you gonna call, how you gonna call the children of God a throat goat? How you gonna call the kings of the earth real niggas and, and thoughts and so on and so forth? How can we do that? The, the word of God had to be fulfilled. He said, instead of us being great, we was going to become an astonishment, right. an amazement, something that people look at and be like, oh, hell no. Black people move into the community, they say the property value go down. How is that if we're the children of God? Right. God said we will become an astonishment. Read. A proverb. You know what a proverb is? A proverb is a wise saying. If you right. want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a what? In a book. Put it in the book, right? They wow. say black, black and Latino women, all they meant for is making it clap, right? These is that's what they say, right? Because who's the video vixens? Come on. Who's the video vixens? Who's going to Dubai? They call them uh, what they call them um, slave babies or something like that. They go to Dubai and get get crapped on. You you familiar with that? No. Y'all ain't never heard of that? Where our sisters they would go to Dubai or these Saudi Arabia cities. And the Arab man would take a dump on him for thirty dollars or for thirty thousand dollars. Look that don't look that up. Don't look at the imagery, but it is true. So God's saying that these things will happen to us. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Strong in the Lord!